Hey guys, welcome on into today's NBA pick video play for May 28th of 2018. In today's video, talking about this intriguing Game 7 matchup here on the Western Conference Finals between the Golden State Warriors and the Houston Rockets. Going to give our lean on where we see the better value standing on the over-under. That total number receding all the way back to about 208 points here. This is almost 20 points lower than some of the heights of the totals that we saw back earlier on in this series and when we look at the course of how this matchup has played itself out between the Warriors and Rockets we have been seeing a reduction in those total numbers for the most part as we've gone along and that's why we're seeing it all the way down to 208 for this game seven matchup also when you go into a game seven every possession means that much more so it's a little bit more likely to be a half court affair and that can just limit the number of possessions to some extent and we saw that in the game seven matchup over in the eastern conference finals a little bit but i also put some of that on the shoulders of the players on both teams doing so poorly in terms of their shooting especially from three point if cleveland or boston just had a uh, average shooting performance from that three point line it would have been much closer to hitting the overside instead of getting to the well underside of things with a very underwhelming uh, offensive performance from both of those squads in that one. But we have a little bit more confidence, of course, in what the Warriors and Rockets are going to be able to produce offensively. And in terms of the total, like I said, almost about 20 points lower here than some of the max total numbers that we saw earlier on in this series. And we go through kind of the course of this matchup between these two teams earlier on in Houston even with those really high total numbers, we were still able to hit the over in games one and two with the finals coming. Golden State winning game one, 119 to 106. Houston coming back winning game two, 127 to 105. But since then, it's kind of been a situation where a couple of these games, one team has been able to blow things out and get past their competition in a convincing win. Golden State doing that in games three as well as Game 6, putting up 126 in Game 3 and 115 in Game 6, which is very good stuff from them. But Houston, they have not been showing up in terms of offensive production ever since that Game 2 result where they put up 127, as they put up 85 points in that Game 3 loss. And then in Games 4 and 5, which were highly competitive, very close games, the Rockets went on to win by finals of 95 to 92 and 98 to 94, which weren't necessarily tremendous offensive performances on their side of things, but still nonetheless putting together good enough defensive performances to be able to win those competitive contests. So basically to get to the overside here, we're going to need either one team to carry the load and put together a great offensive performance, kind of what we've seen throughout a number of the games in this series, about four of the six games here, one team has gotten at least 115 or higher in terms of the points they've been able to put up. And if that's the case here again today with the total at just 208, the over would look really good in that scenario. We see probably a competitive matchup here going down to the end. And if both teams are going to have a chance at winning this game, they're going to have to show up and certainly perform better than what we saw out of the Cavaliers and the Celtics in their Game 7, respectively. So just in terms of the fact that this is by far the lowest total that we've seen in this series here, and also if you just take what these two teams put up throughout the year, Golden State averaging over 113 points per game, Houston averaging over 112 points per game, you add up what they do offensively, and it's about 18 points higher than the total that we're seeing for this Game 7 matchup. And of course, it is probably going to be more of a situation where each possession is brought down that shot clock a bit more as you're trying to get the best shot available, maybe limiting the number of possessions somewhat. But still, wouldn't be surprised to see one team carry the load here and get us over that total number, or both teams having even a slightly below average offensive performance would be enough for us to get to the overside of things. So with that being the case, we are going to go ahead and side with the over 208 points as the better value play. If you agree, give the video a thumbs up, disagree, give it a thumbs down. Check out all of our picks over at stumpthespread.com. Subscribe for more, and we hope to see you guys in future videos. Bye.